And hello, shot fans, your beloved soldier of the inverted cross, back with another um, mock that I did, and a couple other things, or one actually one other thing. Uh, first off, I want to go and say that this video review was supposed to be for Makuda. If you guys saw my review for the 2015 Takanuva and the uh, Makuda in that video, that Makuda, the main body, was all I was keeping. The other parts, right, like the armor bits and stuff. The arms are actually just the skeleton I used to hold it on. That wasn't the main frame I intended on using. I actually have that frame done, and I ran out of black pieces, so I was going to paint the white pieces black because it works just as well. But I ran out of black paint, and I was actually going to review that. So I felt really bad about that. Um, and I decided I want, I'd been wanting to make a smaller figure to go with Makuta, and when I took apart the, I think it was the Shark for Hero Factory Breakout, I got a really small frame, body frame. And I made this guy, he doesn't have a name anywhere besides the Herald of Makuta, uh, and he's kind of like a Matoran of Shadow, I guess. I might even use this as like the Matoran version of Makuta or something. If I mean, I know there's no version of that, but like a fan-made version. And enough of my ranting, uh, this is the little version that I made. Um, all this is the new parts that don't break. You know, the Hero Factory pieces that are much thicker. Other than this is an original Bonacle head with a mask um, from... Uh, this is from the Borakal, the gold one. Um, it's posability-wise, it's ball joint here, ball joint here. These can rotate a bit. And the head is ball jointed. The feet, same thing. I mean, it's not super posable, but he's not supposed to be in a super big stance anyway. Uh, other than that, it's a really small figure. And don't worry, I'm about to review a massive figure. Almost as big as Makuta, if not the same size. Um, this is a little cool little thing. The other thing in this I was going to review is the Sword of... Um, I haven't named it yet. Probably the Sword of Blood. Or the Sword of... the Probably the Sword of Blood Shadows. Uh, it was one of those Bonacle Swords... I, that was just regular gray. I painted it solid black. I mean, solid silver, red with red highlights, and then I trimmed the side in red, like it was blood covered. There'll be more detail to the bottom where I might just stick it in his hand like this, so he can just like swing it. That's really all for this video. Um, this little guy holds the sword for me until Makuta's finished. Let's see how that looks. How big the sword is actually compared to him. It's like way bigger than him. But this was a cool figure. I actually put this together last night because I stayed up all night working on the figure. I'll be reviewing and posting a review of pretty much right after I post this review. I'm uploading them both. Um, so, yeah. Stay tuned. Um, I know this little figure was small. Not much to it. But I assure you the next figure will be even better. And it's a very simple mock. I'll do my best to tell you guys how I did it. Um... Until then, uh, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I know I, I haven't been saying that much, but yeah, I figure everyone knew, like, comment, subscribe. Um, the Makuta is going to be awesome, I can hardly wait to review that, guys, so stay tuned for that. Once I have all the Toa from the new line, I'm going to do a slideshow of those, and I'll be doing... Um, What's the other thing? I might, I'll probably review the whole set at once of the Toa. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is I have scaled the Makuta and the Takanuva. I think I said the Takanuva already, but Takanuva scales perfectly. Uh, the Makuta you saw in the previous video, the frame was just a bit taller than the Toa. I wanted it bigger than that. He towers over them now. It's going to be freaking awesome to pose them together. So stay tuned for that, and I'll do my. I'll give you guys a how-to video on the... Uh, Makuta to the best can. I don't mean like a scratch build because I'm not taking it apart. But I'll tell you what parts, the best to my knowledge, the parts that I used and stuff. So until next time, this has been your beloved Soldier of the Inverted Cross signing off. Farewell.